Hi, this is Madeline Kennedy, one of the Sistar artists of ArtistMeisterSecrets.com and we're continuing on with our lesson in watercolor for how this blue cobalt bowl with the hydrangea in it. Last we met I had managed to explain about the drawing, getting down the values, uh, the uh, lights, midtones, and darks of placement of your detailed drawing so that you would have a guideline of where your paints should go. I also told you that when we got back together I would start explaining some about some of the watercolor paintings that we have, the colors that I used. The main thing I wanted you to notice in my painting that I have in front of you now is this is a underpainting. I have followed a lot of the ideas of the lights, midtones, and darks from the drawing. And in an underpainting, it's not always the exact same color that you intend to have as the finished color, but it is the feel. So if you'll notice, this area over here stays to the light, all this through here that's reflecting the light on the table and everywhere. This is deeper in, in a dark tone shadows, cast shadows. This is a transparent bowl. Even though it's cobalt blue, it is clear where you would see light coming through it. These white areas you see here, I took some miscuit and saved them so that as I painted over all of this, it was reserved as pure white. And we'll go back in here when I get the right color complement that I want and soften some of these hard edges it left and kind of make it blend all together. There is white along the top edge of this little bit of flowers here, saving it to show that it's backlit. I hope you can see all that well. I used mostly Hobain, My Mary Blue, and Daniel Smith watercolor paints. I like the way that all three of those brands react and I'm used to my colors in there. As you'll notice this is a pretty strong color back here. It's kind of a phthalo green with a suggestion of the chair there. So you just need to remember that is an underpainted color. The main color that's going to glaze over that it won't be that color. However this color will be carried some throughout the rest of this painting for color harmony and balance. The same with this soft pinks. This background wash here was with Jean Brilliant and a little bit of shell pink that I washed in a few times to make it the value that I wanted. This is more like a ultramarine blue. I've used some uh, phthalo blue a little bit throughout the plate, the painting, and uh, lots of um, new gamboge yellow and opera. There's opera pink in here. There's also some cad orange. Just a variety of color to give it a little differences so it'll bounce. So that's it so far for the underpainting. I will come back to you when we have more of the overpainting done. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you next time.